Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Talking Before Thinking, not thinking before talking, talking before mother of thinking. You heard that? Talking before mother of thinking. Okay, let's get into the video. The Flash. The Flash, the Flash, the Flash. The Flash. Barry Allen uses his super speed to change the past, but his attempt to save his family creates a world without superheroes, forcing him to race for his life in order to save the future. Cast, we have Ezra Miller, Barry Allen, Slash Flash, Flash, not fast, Flash. Ben Affleck is Batman. Sasha Call E, Callie, Calais, Call, whatever. She was Supergirl. Michael Shannon as General Zod. He plays a amazing General Zod. Just a amazing General Zod. Don't get nobody else to play General Zod. He's perfect for that role. Keep it like that. And then Michael Keaton. I put him as the OG Batman, but he's a classic Batman. He's not the OG Batman. We all know who the OG Batman is. Enough of my personal thoughts on The Flash. The Flash. My personal thoughts on The Flash. Here we go personal thoughts on the flash i would have liked to have seen more of michael keaton as batman i only really saw like 30 minutes of him in my opinion it was just you know we just saw like 30 minutes of him would like to have seen him more but i'd like to have seen him use his utility belt i don't recall seeing him use his utility belt that was just kind of disappointing not seeing him do that and, and like i said before it's just kind of disappointing just only seeing him you know like 30 minutes in the film i mean obviously you bring him back because he's a classic batman so you bring him you put him in this movie so people can go see him but then you only show him for 30 minutes i get the movie is about flash but maybe maybe the movie should have been longer but i would have liked to have seen more of batman more michael keaton as batman I haven't watched any of the Batmans or 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 the Batman movie that has Michael Keaton in it. I haven't seen it. But from what I hear, it was good. It's a classic. So I want to see more of that. That's obviously why you put him in the film to draw people to go see the Flash so they can see him. So maybe, maybe for another Flash, if they decide to put Michael Keaton back in it, have him in there longer. I thought that the running animation for Flash looked weird inside the film. So here's how it looked in the film. That's how it looked. It just looked weird to me. I didn't like it. I thought it was going to look more like how it looked in the Justice League a cartoon like the Justice League Unlimited. That just looks way better to me. I get it. That's animation. I mean, that's, you know, you know, CGI. But I just think it would have been better if it would have looked more like how Flash looked in the, how Flash looked. And Justice League Unlimited with his running style. That looks more believable instead of what this is over here. You know, I, I I just didn't like it. I just thought it was weird. And, you know, you see that all throughout the movie. But it was just kind of weird. It just would have been better if it looked more like how, how it looked in Justice League Unlimited. Yeah, and that's, that's all I'm going to say about that. This had to be the coolest effect out of the whole movie that right there i mean we saw it in the previews but seeing it in person it was just it was hard it was awesome it was awesome all right like it was just great that was just the coolest effect them running turning around and sliding and the foots meeting together and then just all these electric boats just flying everywhere it was great it was great good job dc good job Whoever decided that, whoever made that decision, that was a good job. Keep it up. Keep it up. Spoiler alert. There were some cameos in this film, and Nicolas Cage was one of them. I gotta sneeze. Hold on. It's next digging. Woo! Okay. Yeah. There were some cameos and Nicolas Cage was in the film. Now, me. I said to myself, why the F was Nicolas Cage in The Flash as Superman? Well, there's a whole story behind it. And here it is. As it turns out, after Christopher Reeves' Superman for The Quest for Peace, which I didn't see yet. I saw I saw the first one, the second one, and the third one. I have not seen the fourth one yet. We're going to have to rent it and watch it. So after Superman 4 did terrible in 1987, Warner Brothers wanted to see Superman in a different light. 
Warner Brothers looked to Kevin Smith to do a script for a new Superman. John Peters, a Warner Brothers producer, gave Smith some ideas for the new Superman. So they looked to Kevin Smith to do a script. He did a script, and then John Smith gave him, I guess, some more pointers on the situation. Or, or not, not the situation, but some more pointers on what direction the film should go. The direction that they wanted it to go was Brainiac would be the supervillain. I hate Brainiac. He sucks. Because of him, there is no more planet Krypton. And Superman would lose his powers and then he would fight a giant robotic spider. Weird. Superman fighting a giant spider. I mean, I'm not a, I like Superman. I don't know everything about Superman in his story, but this is weird. But that's what they showed Nicolas Cage as inside the Flash movie. He was fighting a giant spider. So Warner Brothers wanted Nick Cage as Superman. The movie would be called Superman Lives. So Superman Lives was the name they chose for the film and they started production in the summer of 1997. I was only two. They rewrote Kevin Smith's script and the new draft was too expensive. And after many swings and misses, Superman Lives was shut down due to budget concerns. And I'm glad it was shut down because Nicolas Cage does not look like a Clark Kent. His face doesn't, his face doesn't look like it. Look at his face. That doesn't look like a Clark Kent. It looks like a ghost rider. That's what it looks like. A ghost rider face. This is Nick Cage as Superman in the Flash right here. It it just looks weird. We know he don't Nicholas Cage don't have six he does not have a six pack. It is Nicholas Cage and Superman. It just doesn't fit well. Don't like it. And his his hair is too wavy. Superman doesn't have hair like that. Like, come on. So I'm glad it was shut down. Great job, whoever made that decision. Did you know that Ezra Miller? Well, you didn't know. I'm telling you right now. Ezra Miller will make $2 million more than Michael Keaton for his return as Batman. I disagree with that. One of the main reasons people are going to see The Flash is because Michael Michael Keaton is in it and he's a classic Batman. He's drawing more people to the film. But I, I get that the film is based around The Flash and he's the main star. But Michael Keaton has been a star for a long time. And in my opinion, he's a bigger star than Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller as a person sucks. But Keaton will be earning $2 million while Ezra Miller will take home $4 million. The injustice. I have a question. How is it that Ezra Miller can act as an incredible superhero but be a terrible person in real life? Don't believe me? Well, here are some videos. This video was in April 2020 when Miller is seen in a viral video choking and throwing a woman to the ground at a bar in blah, 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 Iceland saying, oh, you want to fight? That's what you want to do? Here's the video. Wow. Terrible person, but he's a superhero. Ironic, right? Let's watch it again. Those are to the ground. And one more time in slow motion. And this is who they got to play the Flash. It's crazy because, because his character has a Flash. He doesn't look like he'll do something like this. That's why, I, that's why I was kind of surprised when I found out some of this stuff. Here he goes again in May 2022, getting arrested. One of Ezra's alleged victims tells cops Ezra attacked him, spitting in his face and going nuts. All Will Smith did was just slap, was just slap Chris Rock. He didn't do anything like this. And when cops questioned Ezra, they claimed they got assaulted and started filming because... He started filming because he said, I film myself when I get assaulted for NFT crypto art. And here's the video of him getting arrested. Let's let's take a listen. Like I, like I said, it's crazy because his character, when he plays Flash, he just doesn't look like he'll be this crazy and wild outside of Flash. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. This guy's crazy, man. So my final thoughts, The Flash. Um, based on Rotten Tomatoes, they got a 67% and an 86% audience score. So people are going to go see it because it's the first Flash movie. But I guess 67%, that tells me that people kind of have a mixed bag about The Flash. I thought it was pretty good. But then at the same time, I did see it at Regal Cinemas at the 4DX Theater. So that's when the seats, you know, and everything, you kind of just, the seats make you feel I guess the the bullets, the running, the crashing, the jumping, the explosions, the bullets, all that. So that made the experience a lot better for me. Um, it was good, though. I would say it was good. I, I think it's something that 
you would go see, have a good time seeing. But I think if they make another flash, which I think they will, they should just take things a little bit further. And maybe the film should be three hours instead of two hours and 24 minutes. Maybe it should be three hours just to get, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe it should just be three hours. I understand that's long, but maybe it should be three hours. The Flash was good. My personal opinion, I give it about, I give it about a seven, so like a 70%, a C, you know, which is what everybody else is giving it. Um, yeah. I'm just going with my gut, you know. Yeah, I'm just going with my gut. 70%, that's a C, that's passing. It's good. Tomatoes gave it a 67%, that's a D. Some people may say that's passing, but to me, that's filling. But yeah, The Flash is good. If you want to go see it, see it if you don't wait till it comes on amazon prime or netflix or whatever but yeah the flash thank you for watching another video of talking before thinking not thinking before talking but talking before mother thinking all right talking before mother thinking okay remember that say it with me talking before mother thinking all right until next time